I was so overwhelmed with joy by the hearing of the news that we're getting a new waterfall rework. In other words, the entire waterfall system is getting redone. That I actually didn't even notice something that is a really, really big potential problem. Now, it started at this moment right here where you're going to notice the ducks are circling, which is a very realistic pattern. And yes, they should circle. But what I realized after today's live stream is they're circling way too many times. In other words, they just sit there and keep spinning around in circle after circle after circle. Like, that is way too ridiculous. That does not happen in real life. They might circle three times max, but they definitely don't circle 15 times in a row and just sit there and soar and keep circling. No, they circle a couple times and they make up their mind whether or not they feel like they want to land. And if they want to land, they cup up and they come right in. They don't just keep circling and then finally decide to land like 80 yards or 100 yards away. So this is where I first noticed it. And not only that, if you notice, even after he takes some shots there, they're still kind of like circling around. And half the time he's not even prone and the ducks just keep on spinning in circles. So I don't know how I didn't notice this, but let's just say I was so excited that we're actually getting a new rework for the waterfall that I just didn't even notice it. Until now. Now I definitely notice it. As you can see right here, one more time, just look at how the ducks are absolutely going in complete circles, flying directly over your head constantly like a flock of starlings, which honestly, I don't even know if starlings would do that. I mean, typically starlings group up in a big group and they all kind of fly next to each other, but this is just a little bit too much. The one good thing is the ducks are actually landing somewhat close to you. They're still not landing exactly how they're supposed to like I am not noticing any ducks landing in the decoys on the water Most of them all landed up on the island here where um, Jaxi had to take some super far shots Luckily he had the red dot scope on that 12 gauge zeroed in for 50 otherwise there's no way he could have hit those things 50 yards is a pretty good ways to shoot out a duck It really is Now let's talk about today's live stream where he went after the bean geese the very same thing happened with the geese as well. As you'll soon see, they just start circling and circling and circling. And then guess what? They circle one more time and then they just kind of flutter in the air. Like they just, <laughs> they just keep on soaring. It's almost like we're watching a bunch of uh, turkey vultures, right? Or <laughs> they're just soaring the whole time. And it is not realistic at all. The problem is that they, they soar so long that by the time they're ready to land, they land super far away. And as you're soon going to see, these geese are going to land almost 100 yards away from the decoys, which that definitely should not be happening. You know, they should cup up at this point. They, they would have noticed already, right? They would have been like, okay, I want to come in or I don't want to come in. And as you notice, they're still kind of just soaring around and now they're going back the opposite direction. See, at this point, he's been calling for a good solid five minutes, right? And these geese are still in the air. Like they're nowhere even near in shooting distance. They're just hovering, circling. And that's it. They just keep on circling. They need to start dropping down way, way sooner. Or spook and then fly away. And as you see, the geese finally did land here, but they're still 80 yards away from the decoys. I mean, he's 80 yards away from these geese here. 80 yards. That is way too far, especially to shoot at a goose because geese are way tougher than a mallard duck or say like a teal. 12 gauge, 80 yards. You could get lucky and one BB might hit it. I mean, probably not, but there's no chance in heck you're going to hit a goose at 80 yards with a 12 gauge. I don't care how good you are. So then he decides to do the unthinkable and that is bust out the 20 gauge. <laughs> but in all fairness, the 20 gauge supposedly has the same range distance as the 12 gauge, but clearly it didn't do much <laughs> and they all took off. Then he tries the 12 gauge at 110 yards, thinking that that might do the trick, but they're just a little bit too far. 
And then fortunately, I do believe he did hit one with a 22. I believe so. Yeah, there you go right there. He got that goose. So at least he did get one. But here's the thing. Our goal is to not be hunting them primarily with 22s. Our goal is to be most consistently hunting them with shotguns, which is what you would do in real life. And that would be the most sportsman thing to do. But we got some more geese coming in here. And let's see how long they're going to fly in circles for before they think about maybe coming down and landing 100 yards away from the decoys. There is, however, one really cool thing that I am looking forward to, and that's going to be the uh, weapon wheel here, where you can spin around in a circle and quickly change out the ammunition and or scope without having to hit the inventory button. So you just hold the, I don't know what key it is, but probably like E it looks like maybe. And then this thing pops up real quick and then you can just select what you want. And then, uh, you know, say you choose a, the uh, 243 and you can choose whether you want polymer tip bullets or just the soft points. So say you have your polymer tip bullets in and you don't want to use them on a dough, but there's a dough there, so that's money. So instead of busting out your uh, inventory and trying to switch out to your polymer tips again, you just hit the weapon wheel and then switch back to your soft points and there you go. You take down the dough, you don't spend any money and then you make money. So that's perfect. I really do think that's a pretty cool um, addition as well, but here you go. Again, we got some more geese flying high and just circling. And they're also circling, um, they're, inter they're not just circling, they're intertwining with each other. Which, uh, that's a little bit much too, because when they circle, they kind of all circle together. And then they, you know, follow each other, right? It's not like one flock goes one way, another flock goes another way, and then you have like three flocks circling different directions. I mean, yeah, maybe if you had 500 to 1,000 geese in front of you, then they might start getting confused. But with 20 or 30 geese, usually they kind of have a, like a symmetrical form where they come in and then they land. But um, yeah, hopefully they get this figured out before the release of it, because um, that's going to be pretty frustrating if they don't. But I can't imagine that they won't. So far, we don't have a release date yet, but... We know it's not going to be far from now, for sure. So hopefully this little... There, I did want to show you. One goose actually did land within shooting distance. But then the geese are still flying crossways, um, horizontal, circling, circling each other. And yeah, it's still just very, very strange. They're all spread out, too. You know, typically they'd be in a pretty decent sized group. I honestly thought he might have been able to pull off that shot there. It was about a 95 yard shot with a 12 gauge and bird shot. In real life, no, but Call of the Wild, he might be able to make 90 yards with a 12 gauge. But then he did take down this goose here. So, I mean, at least he did get one within range and it was probably about like 25 yards to be honest. But what is cool as well is you can see the shot pattern on the geese. So that's gonna be a new thing as well. You'll be able to see that on the geese and ducks or potentially even any bird species. I'm not 100% sure about that, but when he picks it up, we'll find out how far it was, what he shot it with and where he hit it. There you have it, 18 yards away with a 20 gauge and he literally only hit it with two pellets. Interesting. That's it. You would honestly think that 20 gauge at 20 yards away on a goose when he's holding for the neck should have hit it like 15 or 20 times. It looked like a good shot because he held it right on his neck. So I, I really don't know about that. It wasn't him. It was definitely not him. But um, clearly you can see that you need to get these geese to come in close before you even have any chance in heck at hitting these things. There you have it again. Another flock of geese landed out there 65 yards away, which they're actually borderline in range. I'll give him that. I think he probably could have had one or two if he would have shot like almost instantly. But um, I do believe the wind was blown directly at them and then they spooked. And plus, let's just be honest, he's out in the wide open. Like he, it doesn't matter what kind of camouflage you have. If you don't have grass or some kind of surrounding to uh, obstruct the view to them, then you're going to stand out like a sore thumb. They know there's not going to be just like a camouflage blob moving around out in the wide open and think, oh, look at that, a little camouflage blob. I've never seen it before, but let's just look at it. No, they're going to be like, 
<gasps> what is that? And then gone. That's what they're going to do. But anyways, on that note, that's going to be it. And uh, hope you guys enjoyed this video. Let me know what you think. I'm still super excited to hunt these, but I just really hope that they can get it fixed so we can hunt them the right way. But anyways, that's going to be it. Thank you so much for watching and we'll see you next time.